So today we're going to learn how to tint a windshield on a Ford Edge. Now we've actually done this before. <laughs> and we're going to do it again. The reason being is there was a, if you remember in the last video, there was a crack on the windshield that I did. Or I didn't do it. It was there before. But it spread. So they got their windshield replaced. And uh, we are putting another film on the windshield. Let me check all my sources. What's up, dudes? Good deal. We are just getting some last minute things in order. We're gonna have to just jump on this one and then we'll have some time after the fact uh, to go look at some group posts and hang out for a minute. Happy New Year. Yeah, man. First window of 2021. Hope you guys, hope you guys are doing well. We should be, wow, how does it, how does it do that? I like look at it and then it's like, ooh. Um, so yeah, let me see. What do I need to do? Ooh. Bummer. Wait, no, I do. I do have it. I should have it. All right, I gotta get, make sure I have a couple things and then, uh, and then we should be good. Watch this. I did a thing. Oh wait, no, I gotta play something. I gotta play something. What should I play? Uh, we can do this. One. You guys right? Intro. Oh! Uh, <laughs> it's the little things. It's always fun. Four. Boom. Um. What do we gotta get? No. One. <laughs> I have a hot command for an intro. So that's fun. All right. Stop intro. Cannon. <laughs> Good deal. Um, all righty. So just making sure I have everything. Um, I actually do have extra rolls, which is fantastic. Um, managed to get a bunch of those. And some side swipes because I totally forgot them. Did you work yesterday? I did not. Yesterday was an at home, at home day. I haven't, no, that's not true. Working a lot more this week. Took, took it a little slow for the holidays. You're up early. If I have an appointment, I'm up earlier. So let's get this thing wiped down. Oh, last thing. We gotta finish setting up this GoPro, don't we? This is like my biggest, one of my biggest irritations was setting up the stream because there's no fast way to do it. Not really. Is this the battery that I got for it? Oh. Oh, that's terrifying. I probably put it in a pocket or something. I pulled the battery out. I didn't put it in the GoPro. Oh, I did. 
Oh, I did. Oh, I'm dumb. That's where it is. Is it tinted besides the windshield? Yes. This is actually one we did before. There we go. What happened with the GoPro 9? Uh, I did return it, and I was really sad to do that. So the, the diff, I was really annoyed. I thought the GoPro 9 was gonna be like a, a decent upgrade. What they did was they upgraded the sensor, but they didn't actually make the sensor bigger. They made it, they made it have more pixels. But what that means is those pixels are now smaller for absorbing light. So this is kind of like a funky environment. If you look at videos, you'll notice GoPros look good outside because there's a lot of light. Inside, they kind of, they're just not as good. So for live streaming, I did a million little things and I tried to make it look as good as I could. No matter what, anybody I showed the footage to thought the eight the GoPro 8 was the 9, because they thought the 8 looked better. So we ended up just going back to the 8. I'm sad because I always wanted to make, I always want to make the stream look better if I can. So anytime there's a potential upgrade, that's what we go for. Your camera setup is very nice, stream looks good. Thank you. We did, uh, we've done some things. Like this, camera one, oh, no, wait. I just say this now. One. Whoa! Two. 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 There it is. <laughs> Cannon. All right, so let's check this GoPro real quick. Pro real quick. Good. Good, 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 good. All right, we are good today. I got stuck, stuck with it. I dropped the box, but for some reason when I'm recording, I have issues transferring the videos to the app. There's always an error. That's weird. I don't do a lot with the video files, but I will tell you that the video files are like huge compared to other cameras. I don't know why they're so big. All I use these for streaming cameras, it's at 100%. I don't know anything else. Well, I, I mean, I know some things, but I don't do anything else with them. Cold brew or hot brew coffee? Uh, it's a, uh, it is a hot coffee. It's too cold outside. It's too cold outside for cold coffee right now. So we're gonna pop this on. Pop this on. It's actually a Starbucks mocha. I transferred it to a Tent Whiz mug today. I'm out of creamer at home. The seven works perfectly fine. Yeah, and this, what's funny is the seven to the eight. Um, I, I ended up getting my GoPro shortly, like right around when the eight came out. So that's why I got the eight. I had the seven for a month and then I returned it and then I got the eight because I was like, I wanted to test live streaming and I knew the eight was coming out. But the image is basically identical. Most of the differences are, are just for recording and like boosting the stabilization, but you can't set those settings at all for live streaming. I thought you did that windshield. We did. GoPro. GoPro. All right, let me, where's my end? There it is. Good deal. Okay, so this one we have done before, but if you remember at the very beginning, there was a crack right there. Good guy. Oh, that's, is that gonna stay up? Oh, that might be sketchy. We're gonna leave that down. Um, that's scary. So, this time around, there is no crack. They just had the windshield replaced. 
So we're going to do it again. What made you switch to the flat out? Use the orange crush, but I'm currently using hydro squeegee. Um, I like the flat out better than the orange crush. That's, that's basically it. I just like the hardness of it. I like the orange crush, uh, but I like the flat out a little bit better. I will say it probably depends a little bit on your scratch coat too. Let's see. I'm always curious how this is going to look. So we're trying it in different situations. <laughs> hey. Come on. Come on. I know you can do it. The. There we go. There we go. The gestures are tough if you're farther away. Gestures don't always work. And I wish you could recenter it a little bit to be lower because most of what I do is usually below my face. Two. <laughs> but being that we're doing it with a with a windshield. No, no, no. Yay, there it is. That's not too bad. I'll look at this afterwards, too. I tried adjusting the colors and stuff. So that is something I didn't have time to do on the first stream, so I adjusted all the colors. I love the camera transitions. Thank you. I'm trying to get away from only GoPro. I have been for a very long time. But there just there hasn't been any good solutions and, and now this one's this one's pretty dang good. I can actually move that camera closer too. It doesn't have to be so in the corner right now. I'm stealing the track system for what you do for the boxes. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I already did install the same track system. Good. I think it looks great. I think it's a clean, simple way to keep all your boxes out in the open. I really like it. There we go. So maybe we can put this a little bit closer today. One. That's weird. Canon. Canon. Um, sorry, one second. What's it called? I know, I know. There we go. There. For whatever reason, Canon. For whatever reason, when I move it, it like stops entirely. I don't know why, but you deactivate it, reactivate it, it's back up. You should stream yourself doing multiple cars in a day. We might get to that point. I don't want to lose uh, GoPro. GoPro. All right. <laughs> There's my stuff. I don't want to lose the interaction because if I if I just leave a stream on for like an extended uh, if I leave the the stream on for like an extended period of time, it's fine. But I think we might just do that in the group. It's not. It's not a quite for YouTube unless I do that regularly. 
So what I like to do on YouTube is go live with like a purpose. And if I just want to kind of stream casually, we could absolutely do that uh, in the group. The group would be a great place for it. So we may do that. Speaking of the group, we will actually go over some of the posts today. Because we're going to do this, we're going to pull it out, and we'll have some time to kind of just like answer some questions and stuff. Hmm. Let's try it. Reset. Oh, dang, it's facing the wrong way. Did it work? Did it work? No? Canon. Okay, one second. We'll do it again. Yeah, anytime you touch the tripods, they totally shut off. They don't shut off, they just stop video, and I don't know why. But it's a quick fix. So that's good. What percentage? Uh, we're doing 35. I'm total, oh, <laughs> what's up, Patrick? I saw the road wireless mic on your head. Dude, we got, oh shit, super chat, Jamie. Jamie, thank you for the five. Good morning. Figured I'd stop by before my four cars today and five tomorrow. Damn. You can afford those super chats. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Way to stay busy, man. Uh, yeah, so we got a lot of radio waves happening around my head. So we got the Rode, we got the GoPro, and we got a Bluetooth headset. Thirty-five is dark for the shield? Yeah, but it looks good. 35 is as, as dark as I would go. Uh, I, I don't go darker than that. Um, I actually really like it. It blocks a fair amount of glare. I think it's more usable than 50 in terms of blocking glare. But I will say you need bright headlights to make that work. So that is drying. That's not going to take very long. Uh, so we are going to prep the inside while that's going on. GoPro. GoPro. So we have a towel. Do we have a soak rope? Huh. About that. We had two of them. They should be here. Where? Oh, dudes. Where's my soak rope? All right, I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in my car. That's fun. Uh, what are you? Four. <laughs> Camera management, dudes, there it is. There it is. We got it. How's the wife and kids? Uh, one. Shoot, I can't say that. One. There it is. Uh, they're good. They're doing really good. The baby has been keeping us up late. It just started trying to put him to bed at like 11, and he stayed up until like 2. GoPro. GoPro. So it was like super... I love him, but like, oh my god. He didn't even sleep all that much during the day. He took his periodic naps and stuff. But then... But then, at some point, he just like... He just stayed up. And then like, he kept fussing, and then he'd fall asleep. We put him down, 
And then two minutes later, he'd be fussing and crying again. I was like, come on, dude, please. This is like some Fox News shit. <laughs> Thanks, man. We, we're trying. We're trying. Okay, my 35, where is that? That is here. So, yeah, I want to do just some different camera angles and stuff like that, different perspective. I've always wanted to get off of just doing a GoPro. GoPro shows some stuff really, really well, but then there's always the like outside stuff like throwing a windshield over, or peeling it or whatever. Is he gonna be the next stream tinter? <laughs> uh, probably not. It's, it's whatever he wants to be. It's tough, man. I didn't have a plan to be a stream tinter. Shoot, I started tinting, and then I decided to start making YouTube videos. Because I liked YouTube. So, you know, you never know where life's going to take you, but I 100% am going to help him out with whatever he wants in a smart way. It's just it. I'm just really going to teach, like, thinking for yourself. And creativity is a big one. And streaming analytics. GoPro. GoPro. So, what's crazy too is everything seems to be working and I don't know exactly why it's working now. I thought it was the, the software. My good friend quit his job to do YouTube, his channel blow, blew up a lot. Oh, that's awesome. It's tough, man. Real tough. It depends on what you want to get into as well. So, like with YouTube, I, I was making videos for quite a long time, but I don't know. I like, I like doing live streaming way better. I always thought it was, was more video. But for me, it's live streaming. Live streaming is just fun. More interaction, more fun. Like with the video, I post it and I pretty much look at the numbers. With, uh, with live streaming, it's more about interacting with your community and just kind of like, we all have difficulties and kind of want that like hangout. One of the, one of the most fun things. Oh, super chat. Oh, really? No message? Who is that? LKB! What's up, man? Thank you so much for the dollar. I'll start. <laughs> uh, somebody actually beat you to it. Uh, Jamie beat you to it today. But thank you. I've been with you for years when, did the baby sh uh, when you did the baby shampoo. Uh, when you're sitting on the couch. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. I remember that video. Two. So, yeah, live streaming for me is just way more fun. And it's got this, like, really interesting technical challenge for me that keeps it, like, even more fun. Like, one of the things that I did, watch this. For those of you that are tuning in late, uh, we didn't do it for very long, but like little things like this, watch. Intro. <laughs> Stop intro. Stop intro. <laughs> 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 
GoPro. GoPro. See? Isn't that fun? You just have a good time. There's all sorts of little things that I could do. I could have tools pop up on the screen when people ask me about them. Be like, what's that you're using? And I could say, like, I could have, like, a hotkey word for, like, MacTac. I think the only concerning thing with live streaming is, like, your general channel growth kind of takes a dive, but, like, what's the, what's the purpose of the channel? So, that's, that's what you got to keep in mind. Because if I wanted to make bigger videos, I'd just make silly meme videos, which we still might do. But yeah, I figured out how to do that last night. The little, little pop-up dealy. That was when the baby was crying. <laughs> Me and my wife took turns trying to get him to calm down. And then I just like, I remember seeing a video and then I, I looked into it and then I, I had some fun. Did the uh, did the windshield get worse after the tint? Yes, it did. But it it also got colder. It got colder, and also it looked like it was gonna spread. Mm, two. Two. Hmm, that shows the top, not not so much the bottom though. Interesting. Yeah, see I need this to like sit a little bit lower. So one thing I can also do is program some presets for the cameras to like point to certain positions. And that's something I'm gonna play around with I think today. GoPro. GoPro. Should do a tent live life video? Like a vlog? Vlogs are, are not not worth it for me, unfortunately. There's so much work. I'm really like, this is the problem I've always had with video, is I am not a public camera vlogger dude. Unfortunately, unfortunately, most of your channel is just there to see what you do best and that's it <laughs> like they're just there to learn what you what you do and then that's it so it's it's a fast way for me to like really kill kill momentum and youtube's very much youtube's very much about momentum so live streaming right now is hard enough uh to like keep some momentum vlogs would kill it and it's just i don't have time <laughs> that's the other thing i just to sit down and try and edit a vlog so much more work always goes into editing it's like when i try and type out a dumb message 
If like I'm typing something, I delete it like 50 times, reword it 100 times, and then, and then delete the whole thing at the end. If I'm here on the spot with, with it live, you kind of just power through it. Nobody needs another KC Nice chat. That's kind of it. Like, so this is this is one of the crazy things about about the way the internet works. So what you notice is like in any uh, category, there's people that stand out, and those people tend to dominate a particular category, and it's very hard to. Uh, take over. So when Casey Casey Neistat he did all his uh, when he turned into a vlogger, the dude is just a master at, at editing and storytelling. So his vlogs were super interesting, and then everybody saw that and tried to copy it. Well. There, there's already Casey and a handful of others. You have to bring something different to the table. So you can't just be another vlogger that mimics him. You have to bring, like you could be another vlogger, but you have to like bring from a completely different perspective. And window tinting is not, believe it or not, that, <laughs> that interesting to a broader market. Sometimes I get this to peel all the way around. There we go. Cannon. Oh, no. GoPro. GoPro. So like with uh, other, other direct comparisons are like game streamers. There's usually only a couple that dominate any particular game. But what's funny is when those game streamers decide to try and stream something else because they're going insane, they can't branch out past what they're streaming or they alienate their audience. But what I do think is I think there's an audience for live streaming window tinting, and I think there's an audience for video. Because these videos are sometimes too long for people, but I have too much fun making them, so... I tried beef tapa before, it was good. Oh, dude, holy shit, I miss beef tapa so much. Beef tapa is the best. If you guys don't know, Philip, uh, it's a Filipino food. It's like more of a breakfast food. It's a marinated beef. Oh, it's so good. That, white rice, and like a over easy egg in the morning. That was like one of my favorite things. We used to go to this place, uh, Waffle House? No, it wasn't Waffle House. That's more down south. Pancake House in the Philippines. And it's, it's like a, a nice breakfasty style place. Oh my God. We used to get that in the mornings. Oh, so good. I love to learn window tinning, but it's so difficult. It's true, it is. You just gotta keep practicing. Did you tint the waiting area window? Not yet. <laughs> I should. I really enjoy your streams. Thank you. Cannon. No. Shoot. There's too many. There's too many. Uh, GoPro. No. Shit. GoPro. GoPro. Mm hmm. The delay. You need. You need a distinctive pause. How's the wife and baby? They are doing well. 
like I said earlier, baby, baby kept us up. <laughs> the night before was like, on New Year's, the baby kept us up till like 4 a.m. And then last night was, was like 2 a.m. So, we're, we're doing good. But, trying to establish a routine or something right now is tough. Still really young, so it's, it's understandable. So I need a dedicated coffee mug for this, but I've been clay bars and warm water. Dang. Okay, brother, first car is here. See you in the next stream. Happy New Year. Thanks, Jamie. I really appreciate the five. You have a good new year. You have a good near new year too. Holy shit, I can't talk. But keep the stream on in the background. Love your videos. Keep up the good work. I'm gonna start tinting. You motivate me. I've been wrapping vehicles for a long time. I want to pick up the artist inning. Very cool. Vinyl wrapping's its own really, really good thing. There's a lot of window tinners that uh, that want to learn how to vinyl wrap, actually. GoPro. GoPro. Okay, so this should be pretty dang clean. Yes, thank you for the five. I much appreciate it. I'm honestly not that busy. <laughs> Winter here, man. It's not always, I mean, it's just, it depends. A lot of shops that have been in business for a while are, are staying busy and then newer ones that are opened up. It's just tough. Takes time. It really just, that's it. You do marketing, you can do this, you can do that. Just hang in there. It takes time to build up your client base. It really does. I've seen it. I've had plenty of slow days at formerly busy shops. You just have those times. And then also it's just, the longer you're in business, the more busy you're gonna be as time goes on. In the beginning, it's always just like, just focus on doing the best you can as a as a business and work on surviving and innovating. Because when it's slow is the time that you can work on things. When it gets busy is when you have all your ideas, though. And then you don't have time for them. So definitely take advantage of when it's slow. But if you're gonna hook up extra cameras, now's the time to do it. Side swipes. I lost mine somewhere, I don't know where, but I was really sad when that happened because if you lose one of these, they're just really good for that right there, bottom edges. Is this the only thing? Unfortunately, unfortunately right now it is. We might get a phone call for something else, but right now that's all that's on the schedule. So like most things, I will mess around. Maybe clean up the shop some. Work on a couple of things with the stream. And then go home family time. Yay. There we go. Clean. So let's squeegee this off. Slap it in. And we'll be good. Where's my...
Where's my... I used it. Bang it. One. It's probably in the car or something. Or I hung it. Did y'all see my green, green squeegee? Oh, there it is. I'm so dumb. Cannon. CJ. CJ, thank you so much for the five. Happy New Year. I love the camera setup. Uh, was watching some of your old videos the other day from your garage. Crazy what changes in a year. I know. Like, I was looking at some of those, too. Like, just scroll. I was like, oh, shoot. We just moved to the garage early in this year. Last year. Under a year ago, and now we're here. Dude, it's been crazy. So, we just keep doing this for, like, at least another... Like, I have plans to do this for much longer than a couple of years, but even in a couple of years, like, what the fuck's gonna happen? Time goes fast, man. Thank you. Thank you so much for the five. Uh, GoPro. GoPro. Are these... Uh, how many cars do you do off stream? Um, not much. I don't... I, I try and do no full cars off stream. But here and there, it happens. It's usually just depends on, like, so I had one that was like, hey, can you get me in today? I have to be, by, I have to be at work at 2.30, and it was like, I think it was like 12.30, 1 o'clock at the time that they got here. And it's like, ooh, yeah, that's fine. But I'm thinking like, dang it, I need like another 45 minutes to set up the stream and get that. As convenient as I try and make it, it always takes away. It always, like, time. But we try and make it efficient. It's pretty efficient. All right, so that's squeegeed. So, oh, what am I doing? I have two hoses. Oh. GoPro. I'm sorry, I thought I was basically on a GoPro. Ooh, this is a good one. Uh, oh, fucking course. One. One. Okay, um, so that camera, I bumped it, and it, it froze. Good deal. Okay, so for these, we do, we do like this little origami fold here. I like it better than just trying to pick up the whole thing. Because when you just pick it up, it's like it's falling all over the place and whatnot. I do like one fold down, and then pick up the other thing, and then fold it back down. It, it works really well. Is that still blowing up? Oh, shit. <laughs> Cannon. Alligator? Alligator with the 10. What's up, man? Happy New Year and newborn to you. Thanks. I really appreciate that. <laughs> I've had confetti balloons up there, and I just, I've used the other ones. Now you got a bunch of little blue things swirling around in there. I didn't think that would happen. Thank you so much for the 10. I really appreciate it. I hope you're doing well, man. Happy New Year to you. GoPro. GoPro. Staying busy, I'm sure. We gotta say, we gotta say alligator window tint. So when people search for them, I pop up. <laughs> we found that out, it was really funny. 
So a uh, little pro tip for you guys. Uh, be mindful of what you say on your videos because Google crawls all the text with auto captions and then they enable that in search. Oh wait, let me do this real quick. Don't ever send, don't you ever send back me? What, what do you mean? Uh, sorry. I was gonna do Canon. What was I gonna do? There was something, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember what I was gonna do, real quick. Number two. I gotta figure out how to do that without making it go black. Okay. Uh, Canon. What is it? Don't. Sorry, reverse. Oh, rever. <laughs> Sorry, I get it. Uh, don't don't you ever reverse hack me? <laughs> That's what we'll do. We'll have everybody start commenting with their business names, and then we'll just say them all. And then when they search, I pop up. Got you guys. All right, we're gonna roll this up. I was just wondering if I can make the cameras any better. Uh, I don't know if I can. See, external view with, oh, let me try this. Okay, we're gonna zoom. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna lock it. Okay, so that's not too bad. It's locked in place right now. So what I need to set up is a quick hotkey. So when I say windshield or something, it'll actually lock to like a point right in here. So I don't have to like try that little camera trickery stuff. So we get about to here, we pull it off. And we do one of these guys. See, that's helpful, right? That's helpful. And then, and then we, we wave, and then it'll start tracking again. Good deal. Damn it. There we go. Then you play it like a flute. GoPro, GoPro. Where did you get your spray for the water? Oh, uh, tink keg. We still have a tink keg to give away. We will do that. I promise we will do that. greatly dislike about the soap rope is that those corners will cause it to pinch in those corners. So you either have to like pull it or just stay above it and not worry about it and then come back to it. I usually like to try and get it in place. The corners and sometimes, it depends on how tight everything is. But I would much rather have it versus not.
the sound is kind of off. Um, so I will keep a note of that and I'll try and make it better. When I switch to the GoPro, it's got about an, a one to one and a half second delay, but it's always changing. It's never consistent. So I'd have to watch my stream and then try and adjust the audio delay almost every time I set up the, the stream. So I kind of shoot for the middle, but unfortunately that's not, that's not my favorite answer for that. I wish it was consistent though, because then I could just leave it at a certain delay. But the other cameras are good. The other cameras are instant. Uh, look at that. Isn't that the best angle for this windshield? You guys just see the dryer sheet. <laughs> GoPro. GoPro. See, that's why I want to set up like the presets. So if I can set up a zoom, then I can work on a windshield and you guys can get some inside, outside perspectives. It's tricky. That's this that's why I like side swipes right there. Can I show the shrinking later? Uh not really. Not with this one. We'd have to try and get ourselves a different windshield. It's always about just keeping your shrinking even. Just work up the material as even as you can. If you over shrink something, that's when you get those tension lines you were talking about. But what I am thinking of is doing some like, more how-to streams. So basically like we would do in the videos, except we actually have a little bit more time to tackling a full car. We can focus on a smaller subject. There it is. There's my dry shrink prep bag. Dang it. We gotta have a dedicated spot for you. Scrubby. I need a scrubby. Where's my scrubby that I was using? So fun. Two. Yeah, as soon as we're wrapped up this one there, this, this one's gonna, this one's gonna skedaddle. Where did I get the spray guns? Oh, I answered that one. That's a uh, tink keg, tinkkeg.com. Do your customers watch the live streams as you're working? Uh, yeah, actually. <laughs> Not all of them. 
But some of them do. And that's generally like reset. Ding. Ding. Uh, GoPro. GoPro. <laughs> and that's generally um, after they come in is like when they'll see like the cameras and stuff. So I'll talk about it a little bit sometimes then. It's like, hey, um, I stream a lot of what I do. So they'll either hear about it before or after the fact. But it's, there's not, there's not many that come in before the fact. It's like when they find you on maps. So what I kind of saying earlier about social media with like, people that kind of dominate a category and stuff like that. Um, when like people generally stay on the platform that they discovered you at. So when they discover you on maps, some of them will go to your website, but when they make a phone call, they looked at your profile and stuff. That's kind of where they stay. They're just like, Oh, I found them on maps. That's where, that's where I, I, that's where I communicate with this business. There's the people that do a lot of research. Um, but I wish there was like a better way for me to like direct them. I actually changed the link on maps to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Not like a few months ago. I'm going to change it to an actual website. I got to put that back up. But I was, I just like running experiments. I like seeing what things do. So it's like, what happens if people find you on maps? Will they go to like my channel and does that help kind of show what I'm about? I haven't really heard anything. So I'm gonna say no. But like I genuinely like running different types of experiments just to see what happens. You might think many subscribers equal mucho business. Nah, dude, I'm still a little fish. All right, we're gonna wipe this down, check it over. Should be all set. There we go. Reset. Reset. Dang, dude. It's not even going back. What the heck happened there? It was like the one time it was gonna be helpful. Hello, Detroit Tent Studio. Yeah, sure. Uh, it would start, are you, well, let me actually make sure first. Are you looking to do the sides and the back or you wanna add the full windshield? No windshield? Okay, it would start at 240. Uh, that would be in a color stable dyed uh, film with a lifetime warranty. Uh, you can mix and match shades any way you want. I have 5, 20, 35, and 50. Um, and I could actually get you in as soon as today if you're interested. Uh, um, I'm open till 5, but I kind of just go by appointment. So if things drop off, I close up early. Um, I'm in Sterling Heights uh, off of... Uh, off of, sorry, Mound Road in between 17 and 18 mile. Uh, 
Um, could you get here by, let's say, 1 o'clock? Oh, that would be great. Yeah, the sooner the better. But yeah, after, after 1, probably not. Yeah, uh, let me take that down one second, actually. Sorry, I'm just pulling up my notes. Okay, what is it? Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Three, two, one. Five nine one seven. All right, and you have a twenty twenty Mustang convertible. Oh, cool. Okay, yep, no problem. Same pricing applies. All right, very cool. Yeah, man. Just uh, if if you don't think you can make it, just give me a phone call. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess I will see you before one o'clock then. Yes, and uh, when you get here. Um, so there'll be a, a brown L-shaped building that says Gatewood on it. Uh, just drive around the parking lot to the back corner and you'll see us. Uh, that's a good question. We are on the uh, west side. Yep. Okay, yeah, that would be great. Well, good deal. Looks like I got another appointment for today because that's how window tinting goes. You just, <laughs> you don't have something and then you have something. We might stream that one though, but we'll see. <laughs> Maybe we'll stream it in the group. I don't know. No, we'll probably go live again. Oh. Is my headset working on thing? All right, I'm putting back in the windshield. GoPro. GoPro. We're about to ship this one. It's a full Mustang. So there's a good chance we'll probably go live with it again. He's got a few things to do and then he'll come in, but definitely before one o'clock, so. Kind of like good timing. What's the car you see on your schedule that you dread? Um, there's a bunch of them. Usually it's old cars. If it's like an 80s Corvette, like that's not fun. Um, 90s Corvette too, like a lot of, a lot of those. Uh, Mer Lincoln Town Car, Mercury Marauder. Those aren't that bad, but like I had one the other day. Um, that was not fun. That was not fun at all. We had a full purple removal and retent. And it's like, dude, are you kidding me? And right behind it, was an was a brand new 2020 Audi SUV with a full windshield and I'm like fuck me dude just brand new Audi old ass Marauder it's like those back to back it's like are both just time sinks the Audi especially with the windshield because there's just like you want to spend a little bit more time on something like that Tighter tolerances and whatnot. Reset. Still nothing. Oh, it lost it entirely. Oh, that's weird. We haven't seen that yet. So that's camera two. 
reset. Huh. Oh, okay, more technical difficulties. Somebody donated. Oh shit, my headset. Hang on. Sorry, that phone call knocked my headset off my computer and it didn't bring it back. I should have. CJ. What is it? CJ with a two, stream it. <laughs> That's a good super chat. There's probably a good chance we'll do it. It's one of those cards, like we just, we did, we did the windshield already. We have a little bit of a break. We'll probably do it. But it's not gonna be because of $2, come on now. Uh, are those special channel locks for the mirror? Yes, they are actually. So these, it's like, it's got this little thing that butts up against the tab and then this sits on the top. You can pressure fit it back on without like jamming it back down and risk like popping it out. Highly recommend this, but it's just to put it back on. All right, um, I'm gonna pull this out right quick um, and deliver it. We're gonna stay on stream for a bit. So just hang tight. And, uh, and I will be back. Why did the, hmm, maybe we can do like three. <laughs> follows follows me but not the car yeah what's up with that huh they didn't build car tracking technology into these cameras see that's the thing that's what you don't know until you get something like this and try it out 
I kind of assumed that it wouldn't, but... Sometimes, sometimes you, you just, you gotta live with what you got. So, no car tracking technology today. Um, what I was gonna try right quick was let me close this. I don't know why it disconnected though. That's concerning. But if I can close the software and reopen it. So what I did was I programmed resets into some of these cameras. But actually, if I'm gonna do this Mustang, I should probably, I should probably shut these off and charge them because if I don't have these charged, then they're just not going to work. And I need them. I definitely need them. This is what I use for my camera switching and like the main microphone. One. Two. So. Canon. So what's weird though right now is that it's detecting three of them, but the one that I moved around that had some hiccups, it lost it. It's not picking it back up right now. So I can't reset it, which is really annoying. So like a reset's really cool. I'll show you one. So if it loses me, which you have to really like trip it out. See, it lost me now. Reset. That's pretty cool. I really like that, that's fun. So what I can do is I can actually pre-program uh, presets. So I could have it look here or look here, you know what I mean? And zoom in and like have a couple of different spots so I can set it up. So when I'm, Canon. So when I'm trying to do some stuff, and then I get a windshield, and then you like you pick it up and you carry it in, and then the tracking kind of goes off because you walked into the car. You could tell it to like basically look towards where the windshield is, and then maybe have a better angle. So it's a bit of a circus. It's a lot. It's definitely a lot. But just streaming with a GoPro is a lot, and we got that under control. So you know, what's four more cameras? Making progress, learning the different quirks and stuff like that. So, alrighty. So I got another car that's coming in a little bit later today. We got a Mustang Coupe. Um, there's some things to know about the defrosters on those. And they're frameless doors, so that's something a little bit different. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop and we'll probably go live a little bit later in the day, which is good. So we get a twofer. Um, so, with that, let's give a big shout out to everybody. And then we'll end for now. I can recharge these and I can play around with some presets and stuff and then see why my camera just decided to disconnect from the software for whatever reason. Um, so, huge shout out to Jamie, LKB, Jamie, CJ, Alligator, CJ. Thank you all for the super chats. I greatly Greatly appreciate them. Um, and anybody else that just hung out in the stream, I'll always say this. They wouldn't be fun without you hanging out. So that's what these are. These are big tent hangout. How much does the back window go for? Uh, depends on the back window, but generally around here, we'll start them at like 130, like a windshield. Sometimes a little bit less, but... <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool if you could, instead of saying one or a cannon, uh, you do a hand signal for each camera? Well, the problem is like, it would have to be detected on the camera that you're at because I'm all over the place. So like these, these actually have gestures. One. So we can, with these ones, they have gestures built in to zoom in and zoom out, and then you can also do this, and it freezes it, 
and then you can walk away and then like get it to follow you again. So that's really fun. But what you guys will see is like if I walk back way too far, then it's got a lot harder time. It's not, it's not picking me up right now. You really have to be within like a handful of feet for it to pick you up to do like a zoom and a zoom out, stuff like that. Canon. And then the other thing is like if I was looking for like a physical remote that I could like put like on my wrist or something, um, like a small video game controller, which reminds me, I have one. All of them that I looked into power off after about 10, 15 minutes, so then you have to turn them back on and then they reconnect. This one actually says it'll stay on for an hour, so I still have to play with this one, and my idea was either keep this in my pocket or like put it somewhere where I can just like feel a couple of solid buttons and then just switch between the cameras um, and have a couple of hot presets or something like that, I don't know. That was the other idea, it's kind of do both of them. So there's, uh, there's another streamer um, who actually, that's where I got uh, the tip to use the voice commands. He's got, he's got full on like a keyboard hand remote, it's insane. Um, but the problem, the problem is he's got a full on keyboard hand remote. I'm trying to tint windows, I can't keep much in my hands. So it's really like, if my hands are busy, I can yell a command and then it'll always work. So I can always yell. So fun, fun, fun technical challenges of running a stream. So, alrighty, so I'm gonna sign off for right now. I'll probably come back in a little while um, if that one shows up, which hopefully it will. Seem pretty solid, 2020 Mustang. So look forward to that one. Keep the bells on. Thank you guys so much for the super chats and hanging out. And I will see you later today. If not, then I'll see you sometime.